Hey guys, Frame Prey here, and welcome to the 10th episode of my uh, Europa 4 Let's Play as France. And we are doing fantastic, guys. Uh, if you miss a couple of our episodes, I'll just fill you in really quickly so you can catch up. Uh, we are leading a personal union with France. Practi basically, that means we are king of both France and Castile, and after 50 years, that we'll be able to integrate them into our country. Basically, the only difference is right now they're not blue, and then once we do that, they'll turn blue. Uh, they're basically our super ally. They are, right now we're at a war in war with England, who has an ally of Portugal, which is bad for Portugal because Castile is actually very powerful, despite how easily we were able to take over them and how it seems like Argon's bullying them. Uh, they're pretty good. They took over Portugal. Like they're almost eliminated the entire Portuguese army, which is very impressive, and I'm, you know, having Castile as our, as a lesser partner in our personal union is amazing. I think that's probably gonna set the tone for the rest of this entire Let's Play, just having them as, as our vassal, or basically our personal union slave, is really gonna assist us in everything for the entire rest of the game. So, yeah, pretty cool, huh? Anyway, We've got our guy Xavier up here. I don't think there's going to be any more sort of uh, anything going on. Looks like the England England's running already. So let's move our men to the Irish Sea. I hope Connacht... If Connacht gets annexed, I mean, that's fine. They're just more for us to take over from England. And since we set them as a rival, we can actually do a lot of stuff mean to them now. Oh, no, no, no. no! Oh, God. Goddamn British. They jumped on my, uh, my navy because I forgot they're at zero maintenance. Which is not much different than full maintenance, so let's just go ahead and bump them up to full maintenance so I don't forget again. Most likely won't lose too much because they only had four They only had four ships in the first place to fight against our twelve. But still, I mean, even though we have the huge number of advantage, we have such low morale. So they captured two of our big vessels, it seems. Which is bad. But oh no, they actually only captured two of our cogs, I think. So forget those. If we get to retreat to more, yeah, we're going to just come back and destroy them. Alright. Oh, looks like uh, the British have made some sort of... Oh, I probably... I don't think I left a siege battalion behind. Oopsies. Let's leave our siege here, and we shall go defend our... We're going to go take over London with these guys. Now, we should be... We're still losing money. That's okay. Minus seven is not that bad. As long as we repair these guys. And that's mostly because we're paying for the reinforcement of the men. So, once that goes away, we'll be probably a little bit closer to Golden. And since they don't have much military, you might as well turn off our... We'll be able to turn off our military spending soon anyway. So, we're, there's no chance that we're going to be deficit spending. We made some good choices and saved a lot of money early on. So that that didn't, that didn't ever happen. Alright, now we're going to be fighting with a little bit of a disadvantage because we have too much cav versus infantry. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we still won the, the siege there. We got a little bit of extra prestige because last uh, last time we actually made them our rival. Yeah, France, they actually made us our rival too. Since we're losing we're losing war score, that's only, the only reason we're losing war score is because uh, we've got some blockades going on as well as some uh, some ticking war score because the uh, they still control Kent, but we're t we have a 21% chance every uh, siege cycle to actually take over Kent. So that's going to happen very shortly. How are our ships doing? They're still at half. They're not ready to go yet. I really want to get these guys' morale back up to snuff. And they, since they only cost six ducats, it's not really that big of a deal. What is Naples fighting? Umbrian Patriots. I don't even know what that means. They're, I guess they're some sort of patriot group that they're, rebel group that they're having to deal with. Too bad for them. Uh, if you've seen my last episode, uh, then you know my plan is to declare war on Naples after we get, you know, comfortable after our siege of... Oh, it looks like we've got a revolt risk in Kent. I think that's what that's trying to tell me. Yeah, 1%. Not that bad. But now that we occupy that, we get a huge war score bonus of 0.4. Just kidding. It'll it'll go up the longer we control it. Um, Castile is doing a fantastic job blockading. Good for them. Our ships are now ready. We're going to cross the channel. It looks like Connacht actually did get annexed, which is sad for them. Oh, no, 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 no. How dare you, Scotland? Scotland is trying to get in and steal my thunder. How dare they? Do we accept... Are they going to come help us? Or no? God damn you, Scotland. 
they're gonna try to take the the spoils for themselves. So what we have to do is uh, split up very quickly and take as many territories. We need to siege basically every territory. There's if we miss it, oh, knocked seriously. Oh, okay, so this is gonna be bad. Because how are we gonna get the? We're not gonna be able to get the most mo war score possible if we don't do this. So the god, oh, they're so dumb. Oh no, Castile. Why would you let them form that many? I wish we could send some reinforcements, but... Alright, we'll, we'll send these guys there soon, as soon as we get across and help, because we really need to take over as many of these little blockades as possible. Let's get to Lincoln, and then... Because we, if we're the siege leader, then yeah, that's fine. But that we need to get the siege leader title on all these things. Oh, it looks like they declared war against Leinster as well. Hmm, if England takes them all, that's fine too, because then, then we'll just pick them all up after. I hope that we can siege with Cav. I don't think it'll let us, but if it does, that'd be awesome. Oh, it does let us start the siege, at least. Thank God, because we have such a crap ton of Cav. Alright, so we should have... We got every single territory except for this one by Cornwall. Ugh, that's going to be so annoying. But luckily, they'll probably peace out quickly. Um, it looks like we have 1,000 too many troops. It's like one regiment too many to just uh, cross over. So let's just pick up these men and get them over across the Irish Sea before the Irish get there. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, we lost two cogs. That's why. So, you know, while we have the idea in, our, in my head, um, I'm going to go ahead and build some cogs to make up for the one we lost. And it's always nice to have a few extra cogs, so why not? And since we seem to have a positive income somehow, I have no idea how we have a positive income. Um, n no idea at all. We might as well. Oh, um, here, let's, uh, I'm sorry guys, I d there, there's a, r a very specific reason why I'm doing this. Uh, we seem to have the English port, or all their ships are stuck here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break off just my transports, since we can pretty much bottleneck all of them. Let's create a new unit out of my transports. Why isn't it doing this? Oh, it's got an army loaded. That's dumb. It won't let us do that. Alright, fine. Get on the beach. Alright, so it's just going to take one second. We're going to have to put our army on the beach. And I doubt Scotland's actually going to even try to go over. I, I really hope they don't try to go over. Because I'm going to really be sad if they take it before me. Just because I couldn't get my ships out. Unless we were... You know, thing. Anyway, all my cogs are now here. We're going to... Port in a moor and or go to port in a moor, and I shall get on the boats there. The cogs are the only ones that can transport units, so we should be, yeah, good to go now. There we go. But these ships will stay here, and once these uh, once these guys come out of port, they'll be ready for us to just mow them down as soon as they come out. We're gonna merge this army with the army down here. Uh, let's see, will Noravia give us uh, military access? Oh, we have, we have military access already. Okay, so we can either gain diplomatic power and or demand payment in full. Um, 700 ducats seems like it would be a lot of help right now, but since we don't really have to worry about any military fighting right now, I think what we're going to do is gain this uh, long-term trade efficiency until 82. Yeah, that's 10 years of trade better. Or maybe 700. I'm going to take the 700. Never mind, because then, then we can just not worry about money at all. And we can become Defender of the Faith if we so choose. Oh, speaking of Defender of the Faith, we should probably check on our... Oh. You, you, damn you, Austria! Took our thing back, but it's okay. We have we have like one we're point away, like one zero little point away from becoming uh, able to steal him back. So once once that number turns to forty, I'll go get him. So the siege of Corumbia is over. Good. We can move these men. All right. Let's transport all these guys onto the beach here. That should be enough to fight these English. Let's see. Can we get a? Let's, let's see, uh, military access, please. Okay, they're, yeah, they're definitely going to give us military access. Um, I hope that's another relation. Oh, God. But come on, get in there. Come on, you guys are almost there. We need to take over. Good, we can fight these British now. Come on, we're almost there. Oh, I'm paused. I'm so dumb, guys. Please ignore my stupidity. <laughs> But yeah, since we got that 700 in our treasury, we are not going to have to worry about anything. Are you sieging? How dare you siege my t province? I'm going to stop them from sieging the other one as well. 
by taking it over here. Looks, it's gonna leave us only 8,000 men to deal with the British here, but do they even have a... I guess they do have a leader, but we're still gonna destroy them. Nothing can make up the difference of 3,000 troops. No matter how cool you think you are. Okay, where are they running? To Munster? Alright, let's finish them off there. This is a bad idea sometimes, uh, chasing them to the death, because they could ease, they sometimes they turn around on you, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen this time. Oh, crap. Come on, they have like hardly any men left. There we go. They're treating, again, okay, let's go to Leinster and just finish them off. They shouldn't have enough time to recover, should they? I have, I have no clue. There we go. Battle of Leinster. We finished them now. Back to, uh... Back to here, and we'll, we'll regroup our men there. It looks like we're claiming everything except for these two provinces. I think that will be sufficient for me in this war. We'll claim Kent, everything up, up around. We'll take this whole area here, basically. Sieges are over. Good. We have claims on provinces. Yes, I know. We have units of stuff for casualties. We can invest in a new idea. Ooh. And Wessex is done. We have a peace offer from England. We'll give Cor back to Scotland. No, I don't, I don't want this crap. No. They always send me these dumb peace offers. It's like, excuse me, I think I can come up with something better myself. Thank you. So we can build some more province stuff. I guess let's see what about these many factories. We can build something for 500. Hmm. Looks like it's going to give us more trade value, which is cool. That's basically tax income after you think about it. Um, 500 gold for 10, though? I don't know if that's really actually worth it. I mean, we could build uh, 10 constables for that much, and that's going to be way more than than just that $500, 500 ducat thing. So let's just go for this. Put it in our most expensive territories where we're going to get 1.6, I think, is the best we can get now. 1.6 here. Yeah, so now let's look. 1.4 is probably the best, so that's pretty much everywhere. Now, I don't want to spend everything at once, but... I'm going to spend a lot of it. Oh, there's one more 1.6. So there we go. I think that's a good way for to invest that money back into our country. Alright, so we're, we're finishing these sieges. I'm just going to have our men... No, no, no. Siege. All right, I guess I'll just have them all help in the places where we're not done sieging just yet. There's a 35 supply limit there, so we should be fine. Uh, Scotland cannot take anything over from us, so we're good. Scotland's just going to stand around being useless. Really sucks that they already started sieging here, though. Oh well. Ooh, there we go. They finally we pushed them out there and we captured some of their ships. Yeah, sixteen is what we had, I think. So that's fine. Now let's put our guys back into port so they can re uh, rebuild themselves a little bit, get stronger, and we'll move in these guys to help support in London because that's probably the most important siege besides Kent, which we've already done. Alright, so I don't see any more military- Oh, how about- how's Castile doing, actually? Oh good, Castile's doing- doing fantastic. Good for them. Uh, come on, finish them off, Castile. Oh god, Castile. Uh, looks like they're gonna need some help. But, uh, we got a bunch of new cogs here, so let's send them down. And we will also send our fleet to come. I hope, uh, Portugal doesn't have any scary fleet. Well, they actually do have a scary fleet here, so let's just have our guys- hide in the port there. Um, our cogs are going to come down here as well. And where are our battleships? There we go. Alright. So we're all going to meet down there. I'm going to go and help uh, help take over in there as well. I don't want to get the push the war score too much here because if you actually get up to 100 war score and you're still starting to trying to fight the war, your people will get so pissed at you. <laughs> They'll be like, we want to end the war right now. Blah, blah, blah. All these like weird things. They'll be like so pissed. Alright, so we got all all of our fleet here. All 31 of our ships. Let's, uh... Oh, wait. We don't want to detach damage ships because we need them. Come on. Reformat yourselves. Alright, so we got... We should be able to carry a lot of our troops with us. Yeah, almost all of them. That's fine. And then, like, whatever troops we can actually bring with us should be perfect to finish off the siege. And actually, we don't even need to move our ships that far because we can just land right onto, um, right into here, into uh, Castile because they're our ally already. So let's just do that. It was just really getting around Naravia. Actually, I think Naravia already would have let us 
So I'm kind of... We didn't even need our ships here. I can just send these guys to go reinforce as well. Alright. Good for me. I'm done. Okay. Looks like... Yeah. Looks like we finished that one. So let's move these guys here. Is that going to support us? No. Let's go where we'll be supported. These guys can help there. This guy can help here. Alright. Good. We're down to negative 21%. Almost to positive percentage that we'll get the siege every time. Um, okay, these guys need help, so let's fight Let's fight these uh, these Portuguese here, trying to reclaim the territory that we took from them. Ooh, look at that! They're not paying for their men all the way! Peace offer from England, blah blah blah. No, I don't want you to give anything to Scotland. I want everything. I am the baddest of them all. How dare you give Gwenid to Con Cornwall? Decline! Do I look like some peasant who wishes to get peasant rewards? No, I am a god. I deserve god rewards. Oh god, we only have 30. <laughs> okay, that was a weird thing to say. Um, okay, let's keep fighting here. We'll finish off these Portuguese, and then we can actually stop paying for our military since we don't really need them anymore. So they're going to retreat to Cobina. We'll finish them off there. Once we finish them off there, that should be the end of their military force. And here, that, yep, that was true. So, split our guys in half, have half attack here, half attack there. Now, that should give us a 100% war score on Portugal as well. So, we're pretty much dominated here. Let's help, uh, let's help Foix reclaim this territory for Castile. Good, our ships are getting repaired. And now, like I said, let's drop our army maintenance to, like, almost... Actually, nothing. It might as well be nothing. Because there's nothing to fight anymore. So we don't need to have a big morale. Okay, that's not going to support as much as I thought it would. Let's uh, see. Can we support? No. Let's, we'll merge these guys, split it in half, and only send the half with artillery in. Yeah, that should be fine. No, still it's not going to be? It's going to be still too much? I doubt it. Let me let me see. I don't, I'm not going to believe you until I see it. Okay, I guess I was I guess it's right. Uh, okay, let's merge, and then we're going to split off some of these... Uh, Let's split off. Wait, wait, what the heck? Why can't I see my, uh... Why can't I actually talk to the individual units? Hmm. <laughs> oh, well. I guess we did add some sort of amount of... A little bit of an amount. Oh, well. We won the siege anyway. It's too late to do anything. Uh, 79%, so we're gonna get really close to 100%, but never get to 100% because it's dumb. Other people have declared war as well. Castile has already occupied some down here. Good. So they're not completely useless. Now since we can, let's uh, let's merge these under one so I don't forget about them. Uh, and move our ships back up to here and we'll start we'll start uh, getting our boys back across the strait. I will leave a small contingent over here because like I said we're going to annex some of this territory. So we might as well leave them back there just to, you know, get the scraps. Okay, Lisboa. Good for us. Um, does that mean we can move in more? quickly or wait where's Lisboa it looks like England is also asking us for peace again no I'm not giving anything to anybody except for me and Castile Castile is my bot my bro now we're not gonna take any stuff over here but we, we will want to siege there still so um, you know we're still gonna get the war score from doing that so that's what I want that's why they're over there all right and we're actually going to probably get m more out of them because they're going to be wanting... Yeah, they've got about positive reasons, 149, so minus 16. Length of war, ink strengthening of English military. Oh, they have nothing. Why is there even a... Sh Why is that even an option? Let's see, what's their manpower and stuff at? If we sort by total, they're at the bottom because they have nothing, right? Come on, show me the lowest. I wonder why England's not on here at the lowest lowest total. I guess England isn't even doesn't even deserve to be on. Oh, they have five thousand. Where are these five thousand magical units at? They're probably right here. Oh no, we don't want to end that siege. Excuse me. Uh, I'm done. Dumb, dumb, dumb. What's awesome about feeding our lesser partner in the personal union is that they won't even like it. Doesn't even cost us diplomacy power or anything or diplomatic power rather. Okay, looks like their Portugal tried to form another unit there. Oh good, we got this guy done. Okay, so Lisboa is finished. 
Oh, that's another battle. Okay, that's what I... Now I get it. Uh, we'll kill them in Antalejo with these units. Get some more prestige. Hopefully. Uh, has Portugal been... Uh, is Castile considered Portugal an, ally, an enemy? No. Oh, well. We're fine. We're fine. Let's get these boys... Uh, let's get some of these boys home. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave these 20,000 here, but... Xavier, we want to take back. So you come here. You guys come there. Okay, good. That should be fine. Don't want to build anything because like we're we're already losing money, so might as well save up. Okay. We discovered an agent. Ooh, an agent from Argon. I guess we're gonna have to beat the crap out of them. Um, so we can either get sixty. Okay, yeah, we're gonna spend sixty and get get our guy back from Austria because we're almost you know two more people die and then we're gonna be people controller. Which is going to make it even easier to stay people controller. No, England, you're dumb. I don't want your stupid, your stupid uh, Casas belly against me. I know, I know you want me to leave, but I'm not going to until I get everything I want. We got some claims here. Yeah, Kent. I know we don't own that. That's what I'm doing right now. All right, let's send these boys to help the siege over there. Hopefully, Scotland and them will finish up their war quickly. And that will allow us to get a 100% war score, but I doubt it because they're dumb. Yeah, we, I really want to um, usurp usurp the uh, the Austrians as the king of the Papal See here. Alright, so uh, we got some... Yeah, we're still making money. Good. That's good. Because if we're, if we're losing money and we're not paying for anything, that's bad. Now we can get our diplomacy tech up again, which is going to give us more trade range and trade efficiency. However, we need to save points. We need to save points because if we don't, then we're not going to have anything to spend on our peace. And we want to get an awesome peace, right? Get a lot of territory from England. Then we'll look at what we can spend. Oh no, we don't want to finish. We want to finish this siege, please. Alright, yeah. Go finish them there, then. Alright, Siege of Ulster is over. Does that mean we're at 93%? Yes, it does. I guess there's nothing else really we can do unless uh, Ireland and... Can we enforce truce on them? Enforce peace? What about you guys, enforce peace? Can we enforce peace between England? Aw, oh, why not? I wonder why. It doesn't even show, like, a breakdown. Oh well. I guess the game just doesn't like me. Alright. So we've got low morale here, sadly. Uh, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to beat them. This is going to be a really close fight. Come on, beat them. Oh, god damn, we lost. It's okay. Once we take over all of Portugal, we will win. So... Oh, crap. <laughs> They're actually doing pretty good against us. Their stupid rebels are rising up against us, sieging. Oh, come on, Castile. Come on, we need your help. Come on. Come on, these rebels are kicking our ass. I guess I need to start paying for my military again. God damn it. Let's just pay till we can make money still. We're suffered casualties, that's okay. Yes, I know I can do that. Alright. I don't want to move those men off though. Uh, Castile will do handle it. Where are we running to? Why are we running all the way there? This is so dumb. Another peace offer from England. No. I decline. I want to get uh, Castile. Okay, I want to feed Castile Portugal. So uh, we're probably going to get that thing that I was telling you about where the people are going to like insist that I go for peace because of the stupid Castilian rebels that are rising up. Oh well. Here comes our 14,000 troops. We're going to finish that. We got some artillery going on. The only reason I have these forces up here is because I, I'm, you know... I'm looking in the future with my brain, and I see that there's going to be a bunch of revolts happening here when we take over this territory. A peace offer from Portugal? Hmm. Okay. Decline. Because I, I know we can get a little bit better of a peace officer offer before things start to go to shit. So, uh, full annexation, definitely not an option. But we will be able to, perhaps... Are these going to France? Oh no. That's dumb. I, I guess we have to let only things that... They can siege will become a part of Castile. Alright, so um let's see. Spare no expenses or yeah, I don't want to gain inflation, so let's just gain this diplomatic power here. We're gonna go for an easy piece with uh with uh the with um the the Portuguese here. We're gonna just give them we just want this here. 
Why won't that take? Why won't they take that? Did we accidentally click something else? Yeah, I don't want Porto. Um, so we do need to let Castile siege a little bit better, but they're being dumb, so all they get is Eldry. We'll feed them more later. Or perhaps we'll even be able to sell them the profits. But I don't want to waste any more points on it. So let's annul treaties with Argon. Or actually, we'll let them keep their Argon treaty. Um, they've got a treaty with Castile? Hmm. We'll make them transfer trade power, because I know they've got a lot of that. And then we're going to make them pay all this money, too. Oh, they won't take that? There we go. We'll make them take that. So this is going to take us no Casas Bellies, no no Prestige. We're just going to get some, some free Prestige. Sweet. Okay. Let's get... That's what we want for peace out of you. Alright, thank you. Now back to Perajold. Or right, let's go back to the, the Ite de France. Um, and then we're going to also sue for peace with England. Uh, it looks like they won't let... Yeah, that's the only place that we can't take because it's occupied with Cornwall, damn you. Um, Kent... Ooh, look at how cheap everything is because we have set them as an enemy. All right, so that's 90% of our war score right there. But we do surround London completely, which is hilarious. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to make Cornwall any more powerful or anything because we're gonna vassalize them in like two seconds. We can't make them transfer trade power because that's too much. I should make them pay a shitload of money and release whale. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yep, that's uh, that looks like everything that I want to do. Yep, sounds good to me. Alright, so that's like going to be our demand. And perhaps next time we can actually take London from them, which would be sweet. Okay, look, King, they accepted our... our Colossus Belly. We've got some dangerously high over overextension, which is to be expected. Um, we're going to have to make a bunch of cores here, and that's why I'm kind of saving our administrative power. So let's go to Kent and make a core here, because it should be cheaper than the other places. 60. Okay, and that should give us a lot of a lot less overextension for doing that one. Twenty-four percent. All right, thirty-two is going to be Essex, so that's going to be surrounding London. Good. All right, that's all we can afford right now, but later we'll be able to afford more. As you see here, at 20, 24 uh, percent overextension would usually cost ninety in min power, so that's nice. Yeah, we lost our Casas Belly, but it's okay. I'm going to leave our force up here because, of course, they're going to probably have some. Revolts to deal with. Um, let's go to our economy here. We're going to pay nothing for our troops again. Make some money here. And nothing for that. We can actually build another temp some, some temples. Uh, is there anything we can get better like that will reduce revolt risk or something? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. But the constable will increase our taxes. So let's do that in, in here where it's 1.6. I'm not going to spend too much money because we might have to deal with revolts and... That means we're going to have to increase our spending, so let's protect our trade, though, in the Bordox region, because we get money from there, so let's protect more trade. Our men are all retreating back to Ite de France. Good for them. Now, we need to go to war with Argon very quickly, um, because they, they could ally with somebody cool or something, something scary. Uh, let's see, what's their... what's their... oh, actually, are they at war right now? No. Let's see, what's their Argon? Where are they? I think, let's just see if we can wait a little bit and get them to go to war with someone. Because if they're distracted, we could do make mincemeat of them. But if it's just them and Naples and Savoy. Savoy is not very powerful, I don't think. If we added up all their 28,000 plus um, 11,000, that's, that's not even half of what our force is. What's Naples, though? Because I know Naples... Okay, good. We still have secured this guy, so... Hopefully... Oh, no! What the hell? I guess it's when they die. They probably have some, like, random chance to die. I don't, I don't even know. Oh, well. But we own these for another ten years, so... Let's just use this time to make, sh make up on our overextension, because we really want to get rid of that. Uh, we've taken a huge foothold in England. Do we ally with them? Yes, we did. It looks like they're actually taking this time to really... Okay, that's good. I hope Cornwall and them get fed because we're going to declare war on them soon anyway. Are they allied with anyone? Cornwall, aligned. Cancel. Nope. Cornwall is in a coalition against England. Okay. So, yeah, the coalition against England was pretty fearsome. I... Oh, wait, actually not. 
Sure, some Scotland is like sucky, so yeah, they'll survive. All right, so that was pretty awesome, guys. We lost a few troops there, but we're still good. We're still kicking. Oh, are you serious? This guy got stuck. What a dummy! All right, come on, we'll we'll pick, we'll pick you up. Let's get our boats over there. Actually, we don't. It's only the light ships that really matter. So let's just detach our cogs and have them go do pickup duty, and then these guys will have them continue protecting trade. But we have 15 of them now, so we have pretty good transportation capability. I can't believe these dummies got stuck. What troops do we have in a Oh, we have these guys still here. <laughs> let's get those guys out. Our overextension is still. I wish we had more mid admin power. Hmm. Oh, King Edward has a... Uh, oh good, we didn't actually... He's age 39. Oh no, that's not us. Let's see, is our, is our guy still alive? 71, wow, he's pretty old. Um, I'm really glad that we didn't get a Regency Council, because like I said, that would have very much hindered our efforts in, in going to war with England just now, so... Thank God. Anyway, uh, yeah guys, like I said earlier, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode now. Um, Thanks so much for watching. I mean, this is, I think this is really exciting. It's really exciting for me, and I really want to play this game. So that's thats how I know that you guys are should probably really liking this. So just let me know if you guys actually like this, because thats I'm having so much fun right now. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I love you guys. You're the bestest. Uh, I'll see you guys next time when we go kick some more ass, hopefully against Argon. And, ooh, looks like they're dealing with revolts. Sounds like it's a perfect time to strike, guys. Thanks for watching. Spray and pray out.